Hey, what's going on everybody? Matt Passaccio here once again for WMCT TV and WMCT Sports, and welcome to episode seven of the Senior Spotlight Show. Our last episode featured the girls lacrosse captains from AMSA, and today we are joined by the senior captains of the Aspen Valley Boys Lacrosse team. We've got Liam Weigel, Nolan Tomchek, and TJ Collins. Guys, thanks for joining us. Of Thank course. You. Of course. Now these guys are having an incredible season so far this year. They're the regular season Colonial League champions at a 7-1 league record, 12-4 overall, coming off a victory last night against Neshoba Valley Tech. And tomorrow, they have their senior night game against Greater Lowell. So, guys, this is our opportunity to introduce you to our community here in Marlboro. So, uh, Liam, we'll start with you. You are just days away from graduation. How surreal is that, and how's your senior year gone to this point? Senior year's been fun. It's been good. I'm just excited to graduate. Yeah. Ready to move on to the senior last summer until... <laughs> Full time. That's we'll cool. Um, do you have any plans for, for next year as far as school? I'll be attending St. Michael's College in Vermont, playing lacrosse there All right, in cool. the NE10. All right. Uh, aside from lacrosse, was, what was the selling point for the school? The location. It's, five, it's like 12 minutes away from Burlington, Vermont, right on the lake. Oh, cool. So it's a lot to do up there. I'm excited. All right. It's good for you. Uh, Nolan, how about you? Uh, I'm going to play for the Railers Junior Program. All right. So I'll be playing a lot of hockey this summer and all that stuff. But it's great to be a senior. and. It's been a fun year. Yeah? All right, awesome. And TJ, how about you? Uh, my plan is to go into the trades, but I'm also doing night school at Quinsig. All right. University. What's your shop? Uh, electrical. All right, very nice. What, uh, what intrigued you about that particular shop that made you want to get into it? Uh, just the, the variety and all the different options that you can go into. That's awesome. Always good to have options uh, going into the workforce as a young yeah. man. Good for you. Uh, no, how about you? What uh, shop were you in? I'm also in electrical. Okay, <laughs> yeah. same question. What'd you make, what made you want to get into it? Uh, it's just a fun program. Uh, a bunch of my family members have been electricians, so kind of just ran the family too. So That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, good, good for you. And how about you, Liam? I'm in advanced manufacturing. All right, and can you just kind of explain that to me a little bit? So advanced manufacturing is uh, programming, machining, and it's a little bit of engineering and then just uh, building. So it's pretty fun. Nice, good for you. All right, so we have um, you guys in your senior year, obviously. There's things, though, that come up throughout the course of your senior year that you just you don't really anticipate. So, Liam, starting with you, what was something about your senior year that kind of caught you off guard that you wish you kind of knew more about going into it? Honestly, I feel like it's silly to say, but I thought it was going to be a breeze. I didn't think I was going to get too much work, and I kind of got fell behind a little bit, but then the difficulty was catching back up. Yeah, so what advice would you have given your self coming into your senior year or what kind of advice would you give one of your junior friends going into theirs? Keep working hard in the classroom and don't fall behind because then you got to fight uphill and that's no fun. Yeah, makes sense. Nolan, how about you? Anything that kind of snuck up on you that you were a little bit surprised? Yeah, about? probably the same thing about homework and all that stuff. It's a, it's a lot to put on you, but everyone kind of makes it seem like it's just a breeze like Liam said. It's just not, it's not at all. It's just you got to keep working. You envision the senior year being kind of something like, I might have a class here or a class there, but there'll be some free periods and different things like that, yeah. but it didn't really work out that way. No, huh? not at all. <laughs> CJ, how about you? Anything that kind of snuck up on you? Uh, I think it's just the, the busyness is like the, the biggest thing. There's just so much stuff going on senior year between graduation, sports, and work. Yeah. What about any type of advice that you would give to one of your friends coming into their senior year? Uh, I think writing stuff down, having a planner or something just to write something down, yeah, just to remember. Being a little bit more organized? Yeah. Very good. Um, now... We'll get into lacrosse. So, Liam, you're the team's leading scorer, I presume, right? You, I, Matt, I'm you're, not you're, sure. you're right up there. I mean, I've, I've looked through a lot of the game logs, and, and yeah, you're I'm up there. Close. Um, so, <laughs> what do you believe is your best characteristic on the field, and how do you think that helps you to be a leader? Well, I think one of my best characteristics is my speed and then my shot. I think I can just I can sling the ball pretty well. Yeah. Uh, what's um What's it mean to you to be a leader, though? To, to be a leader is fun because, you know, you got people looking up to you, so you got to kind of lead by example. And I know sometimes at practice, if I start goofing off, if no one starts goofing off, TJ, Owen, any of us, everybody else goofs off, so then we don't have a productive practice. So you got to lead by example for sure. Cool. Uh, so, Nolan, you're not only the captain for the lacrosse team, but you're also a captain for the Aspen Valley hockey team that's done very well over the last couple of years. Uh, so for you, what's it been like being a part of both of those teams and how would you describe a very good leader? It's been, it's been good with both teams. Uh, I think just being a good leader is just like showing up every day, on time, all that stuff, and uh, just showing the other like, underclassmen like, 
you got to keep working for what you're doing. Like Liam said, like goofing off and stuff. If we do that, they're going to do that. So we got to set a good example for all of them. Yeah. And it seems, and I haven't spoken with Coach Tonelli very much, just some email correspondence, but he seems like a very serious, potentially very stern guy if things yeah. aren't going the way that he wants. <laughs> yes. uh, can TJ, can you kind of speak to that and like your relationship with Coach Tonelli? Uh, Tonelli, he, he's a great guy, but he, at the end of the day, he just wants to win and be a, and be a successful coach. Uh, now you, being one of the defensive stalwarts on the team, you know, what's your mindset like going into games knowing that you need to be this ultra-physical presence and setting the tone on the defensive end for your teammates? I think it comes down to how we practice. If we, if we don't practice well, we don't play well. So I think having the defense be on their game in practice really carries over to the game. Yeah, and you know, you're not just somebody that you know, can, can lay a hit on D. I mean, I've seen you with the ball streaking downfield. I'm all of a sudden seeing like this big dude, like, <laughs> right? I'm like, what's he? And then I've seen you a couple of times, you're slinging it from like 20, 30 yards away and you're mm -hmm. scoring. I'm like, that's, that's just incredible athleticism from somebody that's, that's your size. So that's awesome, man, good for you. Um, now we've got some, some quotes here from, uh, first one is gonna be from Coach Nelly that is for all of you. Uh, he says, uh, commitment to the game has played a huge role in my players' success. They are overachievers who have never given up. Even with losses, they have continued to keep a positive outlook. They all have leadership skills that suit their positions that have allowed them to grow over the years of AV. And now specifically for you, Liam, from uh, Spencer Burton. Besides Liam's clear talent, he has been a leader on and off the field. So hearing those types of compliments from these people that are in charge over that, like, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel good, of course, because, you know, uh, I respect them, so the fact that they also will say good things back is awesome to hear. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, Nolan, from uh, your athletic director, as a multi-sport captain, Nolan has portrayed the leadership skills necessary to help his teammates become successful. Now, I mean, being somebody that played a little bit of varsity sports, I don't think that any of my coaches or my athletic directors would have said anything close to as nice that, about me. Uh, so hearing something like that, how does that make you feel? It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Uh, it just makes you keep on, keep working harder and harder and get to where you guys want to be in the season and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure it helps to validate all those hours, those extra hours that you put outside in practice or in your free time. So yeah. good for you. And uh, TJ from Athletic Director Burton. TJ is the hidden gem of the Aztec lacrosse team. He may not fill the stat sheet, but he makes big plays and leads by his play. So again, how does that make you feel? It feels good because like the, the work that we put in when, the, when we're not playing and all the other stuff that we're doing, yeah, so it just feels good. Um, how do you feel about your prospects going into the state tournament? Good. Yeah. 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 yeah any, any worries, any concerns about how the team's been? I mean, I, you guys are eight and two over your last 10 games. Mm -hmm. The only game that you've lost is, well, the games that you've lost were to Littleton. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, unless you guys play them, you guys should be straight, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> uh, that's good. Good for you guys. Um, so, now we're, we'll ask a couple of little lighter questions, I suppose. So, you know, this time of your lives can be very hectic. So Liam, what do you do to try to relax and decompress when the world starts to kind of get a little crazy? I've been going fishing recently, you know, fishing, just connecting. Right. And nice, actually, where do you fish? Uh, Gates Pond. Okay. So I don't know if I'm actually legally allowed to fish there, but. <laughs> <laughs> just dive himself out, all right. Well, no, we won't cut that, we're not cutting that. No, but uh, um, anything else aside from fishing? Fishing and then whatever I'm doing, I like to focus on, so if I'm at practice, I'm. I'm practicing. I'm not worrying about work the next day or anything like that. That's how I feel like I keep my head best in check. Cool. And, you know, graduation is coming and then the subsequent summer vacation that follows. So is there anything on the horizon for you that you're really looking forward to? I'm really looking on June 12th. I'll be leaving to Europe. Okay. So I'm going to go over there, see some family, and then just travel a little bit, have a good time nice. for three weeks, and then I'll be back. What parts of Europe? Uh, so I'll land in London, go to Ireland, come back through go to the Netherlands, uh, wow. Germany a little bit, and then France. Wow, that sounds like a heck of a trip. Uh, so Nolan, pose the same question to you. In very hectic, turbulent times in life, when things are kind of starting to go crazy, what do you like to do to keep yourself cool? I think just sports in general, like after school, you know, after having a hectic day, or it's like a, just a rough day in general, you know, we go to lacrosse practice, we all have fun, but we still put in the work, so it's just like good for sports, and then, you know, 
going home after getting a little rest and stuff, I think that just kind of helps you cool down a little bit. For sure, for sure. And you were talking about playing for the, the Railers this summer. Yep. Um, you know, can you talk to me a little bit about that and how you know, they, they approached you and, and how you came to the agreement to, to play for them? Yeah, so they came up to me during the hockey season this year and um, basically just told me I was a good player and now talked to me a little bit about their program and I just kind of fell into it and I, I like their program, like the facilities and all that, so now I'm into it. So It's awesome. Yeah. Being able to extend your hockey career, and that's a, that's really cool. Yeah. Good for you, man. Thank you. Um, and no no vacations, nothing like that? Or? No, just probably a lot of hockey this summer and chilling with the family. So That's cool. Staying yeah. grounded. Good for you. And TJ, how about you? What do you like to do to decompress? I do have to say I'm a big video game guy. All right. I also like fishing, too. All right. Well, video games. Video games? What video games? Uh, hmm. Do I say I'm a big fan of Minecraft? All right. And, and all the Call of Duties. Uh, those Minecraft games are crazy. I like. I, I won't. I won't front. Like, I used to hate on it when I was like younger. It, I thought it seemed silly, but like just the the intellect and the ingenuity mm -hmm. to to be able to like put these whole like little worlds together. Yeah. It's it's cool. Mm -hmm. um, so very nice. Good for you. Um, now at this point, uh, this is going to be each one of your opportunities to either say it to the camera, or you just say it to me, it doesn't really matter. Um, but just shouting out different people in your life that have helped you get to this point. So Liam, we'll start with you. Who's helped you out the most? Uh, I would say the Coyotes organization for Club Lacrosse. They've definitely taught me just almost everything there is to know about lacrosse. And then one of my biggest supporters is my mom, hands down. At every game, you'll hear her yelling, usually. <laughs> oh, that's her, huh? No, I'm playing. <laughs> no, <laughs> there, though. Uh, all good things, hopefully. But. That's cool. Family, though. Very nice, very nice. Noah, how about you? Uh, probably my family and all my coaches, all the hockey teams I've played for. It's a big part. My family is definitely a big part. They put so much into my hockey, my hockey gear, my where I'm playing, tournaments and all that. And they've definitely been my biggest fans throughout the year. So it's been great. That's awesome. TJ, how about you? I do have to say the, the Coyotes probably helped me out the most, the lacrosse program that Liam just mentioned. And then for my biggest supporters, it's probably my mom and my dad and my sisters. Yeah, very nice. Well, I just want to once again thank all three of you for taking a little bit of time out of your busy schedules to come down and hang out with us today. Um, I'm sure that you guys are all going to thrive after graduation into the next phases of your life. So good luck, really. And good luck tomorrow night, especially against Greater Willow. Mm -hmm. Go thank get that you. one on senior night. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, all right. Well, that's going to wrap up this episode of the Senior Spotlight Show. This show will be made available on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, and if you don't really have an opportunity to sit down and watch and you can only listen because say you're in the car for hours on end like I am each day, you can find this on Amazon Music and Spotify as well. So once again, thank you, Liam. Thank you, Nolan. Thank you, TJ. And we will see you next time.